People pay me a lot to hack into things. Faces and friends usually isn't at the top. She's perfect. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Look, I sent you the login information. That'll be 500 bucks. Pleasure doing business with you. If you need to faces and friends talk and the other strangers, you got my number. Stella Armstrong is not a stranger. What are you doing? I wanted to tell you I found my real mom. You gotta stop this. I thought you would care. You said you loved me. You're too clingy. I miss you, Oliver. You take everything too far. You're too much. I could do better. I need my space. Yeah, you really need to back off. You need your space, huh? Well, how come you already have a new girlfriend? This isn't cool, Blake. We're over. Done. I'm sorry. Please don't leave me! Please! I think it was good the second time you went to town. You insane? No, no, not the boys, no. That's right, that's right. The big charity event meeting is tonight, right? You feel good? Are you ready? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, convincing the Yoga Pants posse to raise money for charity is not going to be easy. Well, just be honest. I mean, tell them this town doesn't need another replica canyon or a, a grandstand. Uh, honey, why don't you try to tell them? I mean, come on, we've been here for what? Almost a year? Can they still treat me like an outsider? Listen, I know you can do this. Think about your mom. I do. Every day. It's just... Queen Bee Meredith, she's intimidating. Well, you're intimidating. Right. Smart, sexy. I'm what getting these are for. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Here, hey, buddy. Come see Dad. So, hey. what I figured from the last meeting. It's okay, we'll be right there. Maybe half of the women will side with me, or rather against Meredith. The deciding vote is gonna be this woman who's fairly new to the group, and she loves my brownies. Well, I love your brownies. Let me get a little piece. Hey. How do you think I got me to propose? Oh, okay. Well, it was that. And your pie. <laughs> If it weren't for William Spry, our founder, we would be living somewhere in Rockland. Could you imagine <laughs> raising proposals? Let's put it to a vote and make it official. Um, actually, I have something I'd like to propose. 
Stella, you haven't had a definitive opinion on anything this whole year, and now you have a proposal. I can't wait to hear it. Um, there is a pancreatic cancer research fund that I've looked into, and I think that they would appreciate anything that we could raise. Well, any charity would appreciate a very sizable donation. What makes this fund worthy of our focus? My mother died of pancreatic cancer. <clears throat> Fine. We have Stella's suggestion, and we have mine. So, let's put it to a vote. Cancer research. Georgia. 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 It's up to you. Who are you voting? <sighs> Do you even know what it takes to put together an event of this magnitude? I don't even know if we're going to be able to find a venue this late in the season. And I don't want to burden you with that much work, so I was hoping that I could take point on the planning. <laughs> Have you ever planned an event like this before? No. No, I haven't. But I was thinking we could just have it at my house. <laughs> oh. Oh. Stella, I just... I, I think it can work. Okay, senators, judges, members of Fortune 500 companies attend our soirees, and we depend on them to keep on coming back year after year after year and open up their wallets. I mean, we cannot afford to embarrass ourselves. I agree. Which is why I will drop a proposal for you to look at. You can come by the house at the end of the week to evaluate it, and if you still think it's not gonna work, we can come up with other options. Fine. I will be by at the end of the week to evaluate whatever proposal you can manage to scramble together. Okay? Fellow mommies, busy looking for help. I just want to make sure we're cool. I don't want any trouble. Oh, yeah, from you, you stay away from me. Believe me, Kristen. I have not given you another thought. I'm just here for the Wi-Fi. It is nice to see some friendly faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, baby. And where's this guy's slightly younger brother? Well, Andy went down without a problem, but this little guy. Okay. Go to mommy. Yeah, Munchkin. <laughs> Maybe mommy's good news will <laughs> make you feel better. Hmm? So, guess who's planning Westport Society's next charity event? You got it? That's great. Totally nailed it. I, I, you're going to be amazing. Yeah. Oh. Meredith thinks otherwise, but I'm going to try to prove her wrong. You know, there's one, actually, like that too, little problems. How are you going to plan this event when you're, you're busy with these two little boys? Wait, we have two boys? <laughs> I tell you, I love your sarcasm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What am I going to do? You know, not insurmountable. I know you don't want to hear this, but maybe we can just revisit the whole nanny conversation. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not going to let a stranger raise our kids. See, Andy agrees with me. Oh. Okay. If I say yes, are you gonna get all smug? Absolutely. In that case, you get to change Andy uh. while I put the word out on Facebook friends. I'd like blonde Swedish. 
I'll make sure he is. Oh, did you hear what mommy did to me? She turned it around. with you. Me? You did this. I don't know what you're talking about. Like hell you don't. You know I saved up for four years to buy that car and you ruined it? Why would I ruin something that means so much to you? You're crazy. And you're lashing out. I get it. It's horrible when our personal space gets invaded. <sighs> I really hope you find whoever did this. No, we're not ready for a nap. Are you hungry? Okay. What a good boy. What a good boy. There you go. Okay, wait, wait, wait one second. One second. Okay. Oh, Meredith. It is so good to hear from you. Is it? Is everything all right over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Fussy baby, but I'm sure you can remember those days. Well, if you can't keep control of your household, I am having reservations about putting you in charge of our charity gala. Uh, mm. no, no, mm. I'm a great juggler. Is that a joke? I can never tell with you. Anyways, this event is no laughing matter. Georgia, Gwendolyn, and I will be over on Friday to inspect your house, so if you could alert your gate guard, that would be appreciated. Was it necessary? Again, I'm not amused. And if you can get me that proposal you promised me by tonight, that would be great as well. But I mean, tonight? I thought I had to the end of the week. Well, I'm gonna need to see it tonight. That is if you can manage it. Ah! Oh yeah, I, 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 yep, I can manage it, no problem. Great. Well, I'll let you get back to your fussy baby. See you this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, honey, no, no, not yet. Oh, what now? Coming! Hey, I'm Blake. We talked on the phone yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I totally forgot. We have an interview. Uh, you can see why I need a nanny. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't have any green tea. I hope black's okay. Oh, absolutely. I'm easy to please. So, uh, where did you say that you heard about the job again? Shelly Matthews. She and my parents go way back. She said that you were asking on Face and Friends. Yes, Shelly's a great friend. I'm just gonna have to give her a reference call. Oh, no, I have all my references in here. <laughs> wow, you came prepared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I also have a resume for your consideration. Like Nolan, is that German? It's Swedish. Oh, Swedish. So then you must be like an excellent lutefisk chef. <laughs> well, scheduling, anything you need, really. Wow, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Yeah, you have a lot of experience for someone so young. Yeah, well, I've had to support myself my whole life. My parents are, um, self-absorbed. Mm, I'm sorry. If you have a kid, you should be there for them. Well, I can see that you're there for these two. <laughs> I'm sorry. Considering you're so busy. I just, um, I try my best. I just, I have my hands full right now that, since I've decided to plan this charity event for pancreatic cancer research. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I'm pre-med. Well, I'm taking a year off to... This is gonna sound crazy, but do, do I know you from somewhere? Because I don't know, there's, you just, have we met before? You seem familiar. Maybe we knew each other in a past life. Well, in that case, it's nice to see you again. And there we go. Oh, no, here, let me. Uh, okay. 
Okay, he's been colic ever since we brought him home from the hospital, so probably gonna just continue to cry no matter what you do. Oh. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> Yes, it's my gift. I'm just really good with babies. Uh, you're better than good? <laughs> you're like a baby whisperer. Huh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. 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 My goodness! Hello, this is Mrs. Brown. Oh, Blake Nolan. Yes, I can recommend her very highly. She is a, such a darling girl. There's something comforting about her, you know? Doll? Gigantic plus. So, should we hire her? Oh, honey, I know you're nervous. It's a big deal. You've been the only one watching the boys up until now. But you know what? I think you should trust your instincts, okay? Uh, you've always been on point. Always. The whole time I've known you. All right, so what do you think? All right, let's hire her. It's going to be a good thing. We're hiring her. It's official. Are you sure? Because uh, I could talk about this for hours. Okay, I'll stop. Okay. Thank you. I am peace. Hey, let me help you with this. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> what do you have in here? Folders? Oh, close enough. That's my kettlebell. Working out helps me to distress when the whole pre-med thing gets to be a bit much. Oh, yeah. I remember those days. Did you take Orgo yet? Oh, this could be my old roommate. It's kind of an emergency. I'm sorry. Okay. Organic chemistry nearly killed me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. All right, I'll show you inside. Thanks. It's right there in front of you. Can't promise the two baby boys will be any less stressful than college, so I'm sure you'll see. Thanks, I love it. Uh, it gets a little chilly, especially on this side of the house, so I brought you a little something extra to keep you cozy. Thanks. Stella's mother made it for her. Uh, it was her last gift before she passed away. Oh, I can't accept it. No, you can, yeah. It, I mean, it's special, but so are you. Thank you so much. <sighs> That's my cue. Oh, isn't it mine now? Yes, it is. <laughs> OK. Thanks. I guess uh, we'll go on a stroll. <laughs> OK. Mm -hmm. Might as well take advantage of it while I'm here. Oh, and um, I also brought a couple of stuffed bears for the boys. Oh, they're sweet. Yeah, I'll go give them to them now. I could get used to this. Let's take that walk. I'd love to. Nikki is such a little stinker, yes. But come on, when he gave you that kiss, did it not melt your heart? Yeah, it did. His kisses are better than my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, 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 hate to break up the girls' party, everyone. Oh, something smells good in here. I right, know, usual. He annihilated me. Oh. Hey, I go away for two weeks and you guys adopt a teenager? Oh, no, I'm 20. I just look really young. This is our new nanny, Blake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Sure. Walt's Tanner's oldest friend. Uh, and I'm a detective, so no parties while the boss is out of town. You got it, officer. Actually, that's Detective Tyler to you. Oh, you know what? You should try Blake's marinara sauce. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. I'm starving. Wow, it's, it's amazing. You know, 
babe, you are good. No, great. It's so, so many things, but this, this is amazing. You guys, for, uh, forget about the sauce. Don't you want to know what's in the box? Yes. Okay. Oh. Is your collection big enough already? Oh, it's never big enough. That better be a replica. A replica? Is a replica worthy of the new chief of cardiothoracic surgery? Um, I am all for supporting Tanner's promotion, but we can't have a gun in the house with boys, especially not one that comes with bullets. Honey, this gun is 156 years old. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even shoot anymore. Yeah, plus, the bullets aren't in the gun. I mean, if the babies can find it, load it, point, and fire it, I'm thinking a gun in the house is the least of your worries. All right, we can discuss this later, but can you get this out of here before Meredith comes over? Because I don't think a cowboy chic is the style we're going for. OK. Fair enough. Let's find a spot for this. Yeah. Oh, uh, Stella, before I forget, did you and Juliana was nice enough to help her out with her college applications? Oh, don't you have a lot on your plate, though? Oh, I always have time for Juliana. She's like a daughter to me. I really love the gun, man. I just don't know if I have any more room for it in here. Huh. Yeah. So, uh, Blake, she seems nice. Although, a pretty risky hiring her. Well, what's the risk? She's like the sweetest kid you'll ever meet. Yeah. She's easy on the eyes, too. That's a risk. I'm old enough to be your dad, man. It's not cool. Hey, man, I know you're not that kind of guy. It's just, you know, I seen movies. All right, all right. I could say the same about you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. Uh, yeah. Cool, man. You sure I can't help you? Mm hmm. Yeah, I got this. I wish everything in my life were this easy. You're still worried about Meredith's visit this weekend? <sighs> yeah, you know. You remember the main girls in junior high? Meredith is what they grow into. Which honestly scares me. Oh, well, you don't have to be scared of anyone. You're like Superwoman. Thanks. I don't know where she's perfect. Everybody has their secrets. Personal details of Meredith with the let's see what your skeletons are. She's been texting.com. Bingo. So let's start there. Actually, I thought we could put the buffet right here. We're feeding a hundred people, not twenty. Okay, all right. What about back there? That that could be even better, right? Then you'll lose what little lounging space we have. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Okay. Um No no. No no. I think that we should go back to our original idea of having the founder statue brunch. Am I right? And you know, Henry and I are always happy to host that one. Why don't we hold the fundraiser in the backyard? Oh. Well, because we're having a high society event and not a hoedown. Well, we can have tables and lanterns and we can set up little centerpieces with peonies. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
My answer is no. Well, let's go, ladies, because we have a brunch to start scheduling, right? Um, feel free to float your little fundraiser idea next year if you can figure out some way to make it work, right? <laughs> Oh, no, I think Meredith left her phone behind. I'm gonna go get it to work. Meredith! She forgot your phone. Didn't I? Oh, it's okay, girls. I'll meet you at the club. I suggest you reconsider your decision. <laughs> Excuse me? You're gonna have a fundraiser here. I saw it. How did you... Better question is how did you like... What do you think? Should we see if your husband has the same question? Don't you threaten me. I'm blackmailing you if you want to be specific. You have no idea who you're dealing with. And your husband has no idea who you're screwing around with. So if you want to keep it that way, I suggest you reconsider breaking Stella's heart. Fine. But I'm not going back in there. You can text her. What do you mean? Well, I appeal to her sensitive side. I told her how much this cause means to you and reminded her how important it is to honor our mothers. That is very sweet of you. I don't think Meredith has a sensitive bone in her body. It worked. She changed her mind. We are having the fundraiser here. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, all right, I gotta go. I got lots to do. First of all, thank you so much for getting back to me so quickly. I, I really appreciate the Chardonnay, please. Yeah, that would be great. Um, let's think what else. You know what, let's just, let's just double the hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Christinis. Yeah, let's triple that appetizer though, specifically. The heat lamps, uh, we discussed this, but uh, let's do 10. 10 heat lamps, 10 is definitely the magic number. I was thinking about this and I've been to parties where they run out of hors d'oeuvres early and the guests are in horrible moods before dinner starts. Oh no, I know that you got everything handled. No, I, I'm sorry, I totally appreciate that. And, and yes, I trust you, I trust you completely. Do we have enough servers? Blake, are you sure I can help you? Because I feel bad leaving you with all this mess. Oh no, it's hardly a mess at all. Let me take a few minutes. Just, I have something for you both. I had this made for you. That, that is something else. It's beautiful. Yeah, if you're going to have such an amazing piece, you might as well be able to show it off properly. Wow. I, thank you. And it can't be opened just so you feel safer about having it in the house with the boys. You have officially just become my new favorite person. And so I cleared a space for it in the living room so that all the guests will be able to see it when they arrive for the fundraiser. That's perfect. I mean, what a great excuse for me to brag about my promotion. You don't need excuses. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and I know you don't like the cowboy chic look, Stella, but I think that the glass case... Well, it looks like you have everything under control here, so uh, I'm gonna steal my wife away. Sweetheart, how long is it appropriate to have a name? I mean, is keeping her until the boys go to college too much? <laughs> nope. Sounds good to me. Scooch. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. So his BP bottomed out, and for a second there I thought we were going to lose him, but uh, we managed to stabilize him, so in three graphs. Six hours. Well, you may have saved a life, but 
I came up with three vegetarian options for the fundraiser today. Huh. I'm very proud of you, honey. Thank you. So, besides these three vegetarian options, what else happened around here today? I mean, how are our little terrors? Our terrors are fantastic. I'm not yeah. saying they're ready for med school just yet, but Nikki made his first attempts to walk today. He did. Mom's right, you almost walked off the change table today. They both like me to keep those two out of trouble. The event. It's going good. I mean, it's exhausting. I can see why people make a career out of it. But I'm grateful for the chance. I still have no idea what Blake said to Meredith. She must have some real dirt. You don't know the half of it. It's like she's truly becoming part of the family. She's not becoming part of the family. She is family. Okay. Thank you. You did good. We did good. All right. Which movie? Well, let's not the doctor one again. <laughs> okay. This was a bit of camera. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He also gave me this one too. What's all this? Hi! Oh, sorry, I thought you were upstairs. Blake, this is Juliana, Walt's daughter. Hi! You must be the nanny. Oh, well, I'd like to think of myself as more than just the nanny. Right, of course. Uh, Stella called you a baby whisperer. Mm. Must be nice. I tried to pick Nikki up once, and I'm pretty sure he cried for the next three days. Uh, well, maybe he just doesn't like you. <laughs> Um, I thought we could start with the questions for University of Hawaii. Mm, you're still set on Hawaii. I'm sure your dad loves that. He loves it so much that he left. Mm. I gotta tell you, I'm kind of with your dad on this one. It's not gonna be easy to see you leave. Don't worry. I'll come home every Christmas. I promise. All right. Tell us about your most painful memory. Wow. These are pretty intense. I want to write about my mom. What about your mom? You know, you, you don't have to. No, it's okay. She left when I was 10. Chose the new boyfriend who didn't like kids over me. Mothers like that deserve the worst. <laughs> about her about how she chose to leave. But also, I wanted to put you in the essay. It sucks that she took off, but you've been amazing. So maybe life works itself out. Thank you. You've been amazing too. I'm gonna go make dinner. All right, let's try to get you in Hawaii. <laughs> Today. I feel good about our progress. Well, your progress. After all these hours, I'd say it's our progress. <laughs> I'll print it out so we can double check for typos. Yeah, send it to the printer in Tanner's office. Tanner doesn't like anyone in here without him. Then what are you doing in here? I live here. Well, Tanner's known me my entire life. I'm sure he won't mind if I use his printer. So you and Stella are really close? She's like a mom to me. All right, I'm gonna go. What are you doing? I just wanted to wish you luck with your application. Good luck. This is so cute. Yeah, what do you think about this one? Is this too casual? Yeah. All right, this is gonna be 
would be perfect. It is the first family portrait since which ones were born. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of cute. Oh, well, yeah, me too. Excuse me. This is Stella. Actually, we're going to need a few more tables than that. This is adorable. Uh, that sounds perfect. Thank you. Hi. What are you doing back? Ah. It's hard to eat. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the trip got cut short. Edward got called to Shanghai to finish working on this merger. Oh, oh, that's yeah. that's good for Edward, right? But I know how long you were planning this trip. <sighs> Am I a horrible person if I'm actually happier back in town in time for the society fundraiser? <laughs> of course not. I'm actually glad I get to be there. I swear, the charity coup is the first thing I heard about as soon as I got home from the airport. Wow. How does it feel to be at Aunt Meredith? Does anyone ever really eat out Meredith? Ugh, no, that's true. I'm happy to have won this round, but I got my work cut out for me. Yeah. Takes a lot of planning to pull a party together so quickly. <sighs> I don't know what I would do without Blake, so thank you. Blake? Blake Nolan, you and her parents. I. Everything okay? Whoa! He was just being fussy, and I thought he was hungry, but I guess he's not. That's okay. I'll just take this. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is nothing compared to the damage these two usually inflict in stores. Makes me wonder how they're going to be during the photo shoot, though. Oh, so I was thinking that you might need a little extra help distracting, you know, since I'm going to be part of it. I am glad you said that. I was going to give you the job, but I think I'm going to need your help. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, okay, great. I'm just going to... I'm so sorry about this. Okay. I think I saw something over here that could work. So you want to tell me what's wrong? I thought you were excited about having dinner with Stella and Tanner tonight. I was. I'm just not feeling well. I'm not buying it. So what's really going on? You're going to think I'm crazy, but it's Blake. Blake the nanny? She creeps Really? Huh. She seems like such a nice girl. She followed me into Tanner's study and... I don't know. It's not what she said, it's how she said it. It's what I thought, and that's why I'm not especially feeling up to dinner tonight. I'm not looking forward to facing her. You don't think she could do anything... I'm sure it's just all in my head. No, I respect your opinion. I mean, if you think that something's off about her, you're probably right. I just don't want to make a big deal out of it. Well, how about this? Because it's a little late to back out of dinner now. I'll keep an eye on Blake tonight. I'm sure it's nothing. Really. I'm sure she wouldn't hurt a fly. to come through early today.
you are gonna love the shirt. Honest. I am not wearing matching outfits, okay? <laughs> Blake, back me up here. Oh. I ran into Shelly Matthews today. She and Edward just got back from their anniversary trip. Oh good, they'll be back in time for the party. It's good. Um, did you have a chance to say hello, Blake? Oh, do you know the Matthews? Actually, Shelly was the one who recommended Blake for the job. Old family friends with Blake's parents, but I didn't get to talk to Shelly because the boys were getting fussy. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to your arm? Oh, nothing. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. Did something happen? With, let me see that. No, it's it's just a scratch. I um, I got it from one of the boys. Can you get the bandages from the downstairs bathroom, please? Yeah, let's take care of it. No, that. it's just. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's been a really long day. I'm gonna go put. The Excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. Did something happen when you were out with Blake today? Nikki spilled food, so I had to buy an extra blouse. Maybe she's feeling guilty about that. I'm sure getting scratched by one of the twins didn't improve her day. Uh, the scratches didn't look like they came from a baby. I mean, the marks were too widely spaced. Right. Kids with injuries. Drastic. Well, maybe not. And Juliana did say that Blake had been Treating her kind of strange. I mean, did you... How much do you actually know about this girl? Uh, she had great letters of recommendations. What do you mean, strange? Well, just, you know, kind of jealous. I mean, did you call any of her recommendations? Because behavior like that, you know, hurting yourself, it's, it's not normal. Yes, I did. I called all three, and everyone had only great things to say about her. I mean, she's 20. Right? Basically a teenager, and I'm pretty sure teenagers' behavior never falls under the label of normal. Up until today, Blake's been an amazing nanny. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna go. Um, you'll have to excuse us. Well, at least let me walk you out. Oh, well, man, we know the way out. Um, I'll give you a call. I mean, feel better, please. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will be talking to Blake after the boys are asleep. Yeah, I mean, I guess if it really was just a bad day, she'll appreciate that. So, uh, I think he seems to be crying less before bedtime, falling asleep faster. Maybe. We have our days, right? Yeah. Actually, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna see if you wanna talk. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So, you wanna tell me what happened today? <sighs> it's no big deal, really. My mom called and I haven't heard from her in weeks. She got into this argument with my dad and she wanted me to take her side. I only hear from her when she wants something from me. I'm sorry. That's no way for mom to behave. Oh, well, I hate fighting with her. I used to have some knockdown drag outs with mine. <laughs> and it's funny, I would give anything to get those back. I'm sorry. She died when I was 18. So appreciate what we have with yours while she's still around. Was it sudden? Sudden enough. Pancreatic cancer. Two months between diagnosis and the end. <sighs> that must have been rough. Yeah, it was. And I was pregnant at the time. I cannot believe I just told you that. Tanner's the only person who knows. 
Well, I'm the baby. Um, well, my mom was supposed to help me raise her. And after she was gone, I just, I, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't, couldn't do it without her. So I found a really great family who wanted to adopt her. So you just gave her up? Oh, you make it sound like it was easy. You just abandoned her without caring what would happen to her after. No, no, it wasn't like that. No. I gave her up because I cared. But if you cared so much, why didn't you try to talk to her again? It was a closed adoption. It was up to the family when or if they chose to tell her about me. I couldn't give her the life that she deserved. And what happened to the father? Roger was a jerk. He was out the door before I finished saying the words pregnancy test. I was on my own. But you didn't even keep in contact with the people that you handed your own child over to. That's how they wanted it. But there's the internet. It exists for a reason. She was in a great home. Okay, so I respected the family's wishes to keep my distance. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. You don't even know your own daughter's name, do you? I wouldn't have given her away like that. And if I were her, I would have wanted you to come find me. everything personally you know like it's happening to her and I'm sure it doesn't help that her parents were never really there for her Can I tell you that? yeah well she's got great taste you are one of the best mothers I know thank you baby that's sweet well I aim to please oh crap we need to get back to home uh, anyway, the photographers will be there in like 10 minutes and we need to change Go, but let's give you guys in a nice position. There you go. You guys together. Here's your ball. Looks good. You can lean on that if you want. Oh, oh, oh. All right. You ready? So it'll be quick and painless, I promise. Yeah. Oh, you better share. You got it? Oh, there you go. Right about there. Perfect. Perfect. Stop. I'm still really embarrassed. You know. I had a fight with my mom, and I took it out on you. Come here. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not, because you're so nice to me, and you trusted me. Yeah, um, what I told you, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't mention it to anyone else. Oh, yeah, I won't tell anyone, I promise. Again, I'm so, so sorry. We're okay. Promise. If anything, you made us closer. Okay. Honey, we better get this photo taken before Nikki starts walking. I gotta go. <laughs> so good. Nice. Here we go. Ready? Thank you. Okay. I have to admit, my wife was right about those outfits. So, what do you think? No baby spit up on this? You clean up well. Wow. What do you think I normally look like? Well, I think you look like a man who should trust his wife's impeccable sense of fashion more often. Wow. You look beautiful. Thank you. Keep talking like that and you're headed for the night in your life. Ooh. All right. Night. Have a great night. Thank you. I'm so happy.
You four are the perfect little family. Family you don't think I'm good enough for. Dinner was amazing. <laughs> and the company wasn't so bad either. Oh, you're just happy to be out of the house. This is our first real date since before the twins were born. Wow, it's really been a little surprise for you. What are you talking about? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> if I had to grow up without her, then so do you. What? Blake? Oh, God. Where are you? What does it matter? Don't say that. We've been looking everywhere for you. Please come home. That house is not my home. Blake, this will always be your home. Honey, are you taking your medication? I hate you. Honey? Uh, I see you can't, uh, can't handle not uh, being in control, huh? Can't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are going to the beach house. Oh, our first date. Oh, you know what, that's Walt, let me, uh, let's get that. Hey, Walt. Hey, Walt. Hey, it's just the two of you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, what's up? All right, listen, I ran your nanny through the system. Yeah. Why? Well, after Juliana told me about, you know, Blake's weird behavior and then seeing it for myself, I decided to do some digging. What did you find? I found absolutely nothing. I mean, it's like she doesn't even exist. The only Blake Nolan that comes up is a 40-year-old mechanic in Minnesota. Wait, are you sure? Let's go. Oh, what the hell? Boys. Stay right here. Blake. Stella, I'm so sorry about the frame. What the hell is this? <laughs> no, no, I can, I can explain. I don't even know who you are. You, you, you need to leave now. No. This is my home now. Oh, no, no, no. This is my home. And I'm telling you to get out. Well, you would fall apart without me. <sighs> you got 20 seconds before I call the cops. So you would call the cops on your own daughter? Oh my gosh, you need help. You, you're not my daughter. No, I am. My real name's Blake McGill. I'm your abandoned daughter. You remember in the interview how you said you felt like you knew me? Um, why didn't you just tell me? Because I shouldn't have to. I just wanted you to have every like caring people. No, they didn't love me. Not like a real mother would have. I just wanted. What was best for you, Blake? But what was best for me was to be with my real mom. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, then let me stay. Mm, I can't do that. Why not? Because you are unstable and I, I can't have you. So you're just going to abandon me again? No, I'm going to help you get the treatment that you need. I don't need treatment. I'm not crazy. Listen to me. I will not leave you. I won't leave you. I should have known you're never going to accept me. You're just a selfish bitch. Stop, Blake, 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 Blake,
No, baby. Blake was always a little odd. Any breakup, any sort of rejection, she couldn't handle it. So she was never happy? Her father and I did our very best. We really did. We gave her everything. We sent her to the best schools. We got her a tutor. We supported her passions. We brought her to the therapist. But none of it helped. She was struggling so much. So a month ago, we told her the truth about the adoption. We hoped that we would help her work through her emotions in a positive manner, begin the healing process. But it ended up being a huge mistake. You gave her my contact information. No, we, we didn't. We were afraid she might. S stalking? I don't know how many times we went to the police station to pick her up because she wouldn't leave some boyfriend alone. She actually burned up one of their cars. It hurts me to say, but Blake is dangerous. What do we do? We need to find her and get her back on our medication. But until we do, if you see her, you need to contact the police. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Walt, it's as serious as you thought. We need help. <laughs> we can't risk it. There's no telling what she'll do. Look, I'm sure Blake is long gone by now. And what if she isn't? Because she was really angry with me for giving her up. You're not going to cancel this fundraiser. You worked way too hard for this. I don't want to, but I'm not gonna put our family or the guests in danger. Now, until Blake is in custody, we've gotta take every precaution. I'm not gonna let her ruin this for you, or the chance to honor your mother's memory. Unless they find Blake before tomorrow night, that's what we're doing. Listen, I understand, all right? I totally understand, but we're not canceling this party, okay? We'll just make sure it's some sleep. I love you. I love you, honey. Sure, you're gonna need that taser? Uh, maybe, maybe not, but uh, you can never be too sure. I will look if you see her, just try not to hurt her. I mean, I know she's unhinged, but she's still his daughter and she really wants to get her some help. I'll make sure she doesn't get hurt. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hey, man, you guys are family. I'd do anything to protect you guys. Mm. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you doing this. Are you kidding? I love every minute I get to spend with my favorite boys. Oh, they love you too, trust me. You just call me, okay, if you hear <laughs> Okay, um, I love you. Oh. Say bye, Mommy. I love you all. Hi, I love you too. Excuse me. Ah, final checklist, perfect. Okay, just make sure the lanterns are lit and the heaters are on the stand. Sure. Did the extra case of Dom get delivered? Perfect. I don't want to see anyone with an empty glass tonight. Yeah, this looks great. Thank you. Of course. Ooh, it looks delicious. Let's start the rotation at seven. Meredith? Are you having a wonderful time? Everything seems... adequate. Adequate? The backyard is stunning, Stella. I love the lanterns. And the crab puffs are to die for. 
Who's the caterer? I wish I could share your enthusiasm, but um, it's a little bit chilly for an event outside, don't you think? Well, luckily we have heat lamps on standby. I need a drink. Well, looks like Meredith's really warm up to you. Huh. Thank you. I think we're really gonna pull this off, huh? I think you're right. Good job. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Good evening, everyone. I think it's customary for the host to say a few words, don't you think? Where are you, Stella? Ah. Come on up here and grace us with the speech. Don't be nervous, we're all friends. Thank you, Meredith. Thank you all for coming. Your support means the world to me. Today is the 20th anniversary of just 18 years of age. And I miss her every day. Not just because she was my mother, but because she was one of the best people that I'd ever met. When I think of my mother, I don't think about the hospital visits or how she looked at the end. Instead, I think about the night of my senior prom. She did my hair in this giant 90s updo. I waited for my boyfriend to pick me up in my room. But my mother wouldn't let me. She said she got a trust that I to see a scary movie. And we yelled at the screen and we stuffed our faces with popcorn. It was one of the best nights of my life. She was the most amazing person in my life. And I never felt alone as long as I had my mother. I had cancer. There are no symptoms until it's too late. So no other little girls have to go through their life alone. Thank you so much for your generous support. And on that note, let's eat. Your mother would be so proud. I think so too. Dinner! Walt! Uh, Walt, are you okay? Uh, Blake, she's here. She went that way. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get some help. Wait, call 911, now! Detective Tyler was attacked at the back gate. Send someone to help him right away. Where are my babies? Where are my babies? I will never forget. Mommy's here, boys. Where are the boys? It's not about the boys. It's about you and me. Tell me where they are, like, now. Didn't you ever once worry about me? If I was safe? Like, where are the boys? Don't you ever care about me? Blake! Blake, let go! Go! Yeah. Stop. 
I don't want to do this. What the hell's going on? Find the boys. Go find the boys. 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 The cops run away. Okay? It's over. I say when it's over. Please, please, honey. You need help. I don't need help. I need my mother. I'm right here, okay? I'm right here, and I love you. You don't love me. It doesn't have to be like this. Like, please. You wouldn't shoot your own daughter. Don't force me to make that choice. Don't stay back. I'm your own flesh and blood. Get out! Oh, was that a gunshot? Oh my god, baby, you okay? Um, okay, come on. Where are the boys? Oh, they're fine, they're with Georgia. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Baby, let's get you out of here. Come on. Okay. I was so scared. I know, baby. It's okay now. Everything's okay now. Oh, thank God you're here. Oh, my gosh. Honey. Oh, I love you. Excuse us, please. Thank you. I don't believe this. I, actually, I do believe this. It's the total disaster that I predicted. I knew that we couldn't trust her. Excuse me? I wish I could. You've embarrassed us all. I mean, the mayor was here tonight, for God's sake. Meredith, it wasn't her fault. Of course it was her fault. Only a classless idiot would hire a psychotic nanny that would try to murder us all. Meredith! You know what, it's okay. I don't, I don't care what you think. You are a miserable person, Meredith. And the only thing that you have in your life to make yourself feel better is by trying to make other people feel worse about their life. I'm done trying to impress you. Oh, impress me. Just out of my yard. You're not welcome here. Fine. Come on, ladies, let's go. <laughs> Fine. Remind me not to get on your bad side or wear yoga pants. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Let's get you out of here. Let's get you inside. Hey, finishing your weekly letter to Blake? Yeah, as soon as I get some stamps, I'm gonna send it out. Oh, good. Are you okay? You do the right thing? Of course, baby, we did the right thing. She's getting the help she needs, okay? Trust me. Did I ever tell you I think you're kind of great? Hey! Oh, good to see you. So glad you made it. Hey. Oh, of course. Hey. Oh, this looks great. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm so hungry. My appetite. Yum.